Hi guys, how you doing? Um, I'm back down at the gym, so I thought I'd take a couple of minutes to record another little drill that I do um, with bath. It, this is going to start off in a very similar way to the previous one, if you saw that before, the, the lead off to, to flinch. Uh, but this time what we're going to do is we're going to stay at, at striking distance rather than close in. And um, we're going to look at a two strike combination with our lead hand but we're going to rotate lead, so we're going to alternate leads. So what we're going to do, we're going to start off with a right lead. I always start with a right lead, it's just the way I fight. Very on English, I know. And we're going to start on our pugilistic guard, and we're going to throw a straight lead hand punch, vertical fist, uh, sense two knuckles, falling step, dropping weight onto that knee. There we go. That's part one. Okay, we've all done that before. Plenty of videos on it in. Uh, in my channel and other people's. Check them all out. Um, so we're going to start with that and once we've thrown that what we're going to do is we're going to step around the bag and we're going to swap leads. But as we do that we're going to throw a rolling back fist. So one of the few round blows that we come across in early pugilism. Uh, Mendoza used to do it, Slack used to do it, various champions have been very skilled at using these and you're beginning to see them creeping into MMA now, which is quite nice. You see quite a lot of the fighters throwing a punch and then just throwing a back fist off the back of it. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. So we're going to throw that lead, and then we're going to go around as we throw that. And you'll see that at that point, I'm now left lead. So we're going to throw that, and then we're going to move around with a back fist. And it really is as simple as that. One, two. And you can use this in a variety of ways. You can use it by staying right at the edge of your striking distance. One, two. And we're right at the edge there. We can use it as a way of breaking ground, of getting out of distance. So we can throw that, that one there and we can move around. Right and we can move and you can see straight away that I'm way out of distance now. So we can use it as a way of escaping if we're, if we're struggling, we're moving sideways, we're getting offline and we're striking. Or indeed, you can use it to close if you so wish. You can punch, you can step in on the other side. And we're here, we're, we're in grappling distance. From modern competition, um, as long as we're taking out the rule about a knee touching the ground being the end of the, the round, this would be a perfect position if we've managed to get past their hands, they're slightly side on, to shoot down for some kind of takedown, be it double, single, high crotch, whatever you want to do. So, really simple technique. One, two. Simple as that. One punch, one back fist, change guards, one punch, one back fist, and you come back. And you can roll that through again and again and again, and perhaps it with both hands. As Mendoza says, the most important thing is to be a master of equilibrium and be able to use both of your hands equally. So I hope this has been uh, entertaining, informative, or just amusing. Don't mind. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, and I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.